but it really breaks my heart when I hear someone say that our water is dirty because it's not. It's just so abundant in phytoplankton. If you could see what I see under the microscope, it's amazing. Just these happy little phytoplankton and zooplankton swimming all over the place, which then in turn allows for the oysters to eat and get fat and happy and the shrimp to be nice and delicious and distinctive to our Gulf Coast. It's really a very healthy body water. This area from about Mobile Bay down to the tip of Texas, you know, we call it the, the fisheries fertile crescent. And it's for a reason. It's because the dependency of these, uh, these ecosystems and the fisheries production on the rivers and the discharge of, of the rivers. So with that comes dirty water. You don't want pristine, crystal clear water like you have in Florida and still expect to be able to drive that fisheries production that we rely on. And so when somebody says, you know, the water's dirty, well, the water's supposed to be dirty to an extent. The, the tea color that's in, in the water that's because of the dissolved organics that are leaching out, from, you know, as the water passes down through the, you know, through the marshes. So it, it takes on that that tea color. You're you're not going to get, you know, crystal clear water that you can see 500 feet. And if you could, then you're going to sacrifice some of the fisheries production that that you would you would otherwise want.